Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I posted on my Snapchat story if any of my Snapchat followers wanted to see an empties video and I got about 30 snaps back saying, yay, do one, we love empties videos. So the people get what the people want. So this is my empties bag, it's one I always use. It's pretty weighty, it's not full, but there's a lot of stuff in here. This could be a long one. Grab yourself a cuppa. I'm just gonna pull things out at random. First is Ginger & Co Bathing Beauty Moisturizing Bubble Bath and Wash. I didn't use this as a bubble bath because I hate baths. I used this as a shower wash and it was fine. It didn't dry out my skin. I liked it. Would I repurchase? Ooh, probably not. I didn't purchase it in the first place. It was sent to me. But I would probably go for something a little bit more moisturizing because my skin gets so uber dry. So it was nice, but I would go for something even more moisturizing than this next time. Another shower product and this is the Original Source Vanilla and Raspberry Shower Gel. Okay. Every time I use this, the entire apartment smelled amazing. Oh my God. If you see this in the shop, pick it up and smell it and you will be amazed. I think it's the nicest smelling thing I've ever smelled in my life. If you remember, was it strawberry or raspberry Petit Falou yogurts? That's exactly what this smells like. Phenomenal. Will I repurchase? A million percent. Yes. Another body wash, the Nivea Water Lily and Oil Shower Gel. Okay. Okay. I did like this. However, if you were applying fake tan after using this, don't even bother. It will, it's almost like this leaves an oily residue on your skin and when you go to apply fake tan, it will ball up. It won't blend in. It will be streaky no matter what. So if you like oily shower washes, you will like this. But if you like your fake tan, you won't like this. Will I repurchase? No, because I like to do fake tan at the drop of a hat. But if I've used this a few hours beforehand, the tan is just gonna be disastrous. Nail polish remover, just the cheapy one that you get in deals. It was 150. It removed my nail polish without any issue. Would I repurchase? Absolutely. I have a couple of fake tans in here. The first is one from Vita Liberata, and this is the phenomenal two to three week tan. I've seen a few good reviews on this, but I didn't find it all that great. I didn't find it lasted any longer on my skin than any other tan. And the color it provided wasn't all that dark. Now granted, it is the medium shade, so it wouldn't be that dark. Would I repurchase for the price it is? Hell no. On the other side of things, I have my holy grail tan here. This is the Sun Kissed Rapid Tan. Now, a lot of people are Snapchatting me photos of this tan. This is the Sun Kissed Regular Mousse Tan, and it's very, very good. But the Rapid Tan is in a league of its own. It's the most perfect tan I've ever used. What's so good about it, you might be asking. Basically, when this goes on, it applies like a dream. No skipping over skin, it feels moisturizing, it smells amazing. Even Ian commented when he was in the bed beside me, you smell amazing. At no stage was there any fake tan smell. It didn't stain my sheets. It developed really, really dark. It stuck well to my chest, which is unheard of for any other tan for me. When I rinse off the guide color, I'm still left with a super, super dark color. Another problem I have with a lot of tans is when I rinse off the next morning, a lot of the color goes down the drain and it's so annoying, but this sticks around. It's amazing. One tiny problem, can't get it in Ireland. Well, you can, you just have to pay kind of expensive shipping. I think it's seven or eight euro and you have to pay a fiver for shipping. I tweeted Sunkissed and asked them what the story is with leaving us high and dry and they didn't really reply. So I might actually email the company and see if they'll consider stocking this in pennies because the other tan can be gotten in pennies but this one can't yet. <coughs> Garnier Micellar Water. I've spoken about this plenty of times before. It's amazing. It's a really, really nice makeup remover. I use it on a cotton pad and And it, I use it on a cotton pad and it removes all of my eye makeup, my face makeup, everything. The only thing it won't remove is waterproof eyeliner, but I don't wear it all that often, so it doesn't really matter. Will repurchase, absolutely. I'm currently using the one for combination oily skin with the green lid, but when that's finished, I will definitely go and repurchase this one because that one has alcohol and this one does not. So yeah, definitely repurchasing that. Next is the face wash, and this is a Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. Now I got this in America, but it can be gotten here. You can get it in like... Mr. Price, I think, if you want it on discount, and I think you can get the pink one in Boots, but I'm not 100% sure. I use this when I'm having a really bad breakout, and it literally just zaps all the oils out of your skin. If you have dry skin, you're gonna hate this. It literally just completely dries out your skin, but that is exactly what you want when you have a really bad breakout, and I find it really effective. If I'm having a bad breakout, I will use this combined with my Clarisonic Mia, 
and it literally pulls every bit of moisture and bacteria out of your skin and it heals the breakout. Will I repurchase? My skin has been pretty good lately so I mightn't have to. My holy grail hand cream. Look at the size of this thing. It was jumbo. I bought this in India actually back in... When did I go to India? The start of March. This is the L'Occitane... See it got all janky. This is the L'Occitane Creme Ma. Uh, dry skin hand cream with shea butter. I love this stuff. It's my favourite formula of it as well. It's expensive. It's about 30 euro for this. But will I repurchase? Yeah, I definitely will. Next time I'm down in Dundrum, I will pop into L'Occitane and get one. Love it. Love it. Makes my cuticles look like they never, ever look. Just so moisturised and healthy. As is the norm for all of my empties videos, I have the Blistex Relief Cream times second three. And there's a fourth one about to join them now in the next couple of days. If you have lips, you need this. <laughs> No, seriously, if you have dry chap lips that never seem to get moisturised, these are amazing. They can be difficult to find. Boots don't sell them. Dunn Stores does. Tesco does not. Independent chemists are your best bet. They're €3.80, but worth every penny, and they're amazing. Slather on loads before you go to bed, and you'll wake up in the morning with perfectly healed lips. The Boots Tea Tree Witch Hazel Toner. I actually quite like this. I use this in the mornings before I apply my makeup. Well, after I've cleansed my skin, before I apply my moisturiser and then my makeup. And I find this kind of helps keep my oils at bay during the day. And then at night time I use a more nourishing toner. Yeah, I like it. And for the price, I mean, you can't go wrong. I have a second one of those toners. My favourite cotton pads, goes without saying. So I went through a phase there where my regular deodorant wasn't really working. And then I remember Samantha Sherman mentioned that she uses men's deodorant. So I said, hmm, I might give it a go because I actually quite like men's scents. So I tried out the Sanex men's deodorant. It was on offer in Boots, I think. And this smells, like I really like man deodorant smells. And it worked really, really well. So I would definitely recommend if you're having issues with female deodorant, try a men's one. They smell really good and they work a lot better. This is pretty disgusting. This is the Waxbirds Beautiful Body Oil. And as you can see, the packaging is all coming off. Waxbirds sent this to me months ago and obviously I used it all up, but they sent me another one last week. I posted this photo on Instagram and you can just see the glow it gives your skin. It's just phenomenal. But it doesn't feel greasy on the skin at all. It just feels like you're perfectly moisturised. You look sheeny, glowy, like a goddess. And if you fake tan on and you put this on over it, oh my God, it just looks incredible absolutely amazing and it smells phenomenal it smells like lavender oh it just smells like a beautician it just smells exactly like a beautician's highly recommend it it is i think either 9.99 or 12.99 gorgeous while we're talking about wax births i'm going to mention the wonder pads these are so multi-purpose will i repurchase these two steps ahead of you these are specifically designed for ingrown hairs so you take the pad i'll show you one from my new pack there's a textured side and a smooth side. That's the textured side, and then obviously that's the smooth side. So if you have an ingrown hair or an area of ingrown hair or razor burn, you take the textured side and rub that over the area and it will draw out the ingrown hair and it will ease any discomfort or pain in the area. But what these are also amazing for is extreme breakouts. And what I use them for most often is dodgy fake tan. If I have like really bad fake tan on my wrists, I'll take a pad and just rub it gently over the area and it literally removes the tan. There are so many uses for these, that's only three amazing amazing love them another regular in my empties videos is my favorite eye cream and i even cut this one open it's the boots simply sensitive hydrating eye cream again if you've been watching my videos for any length of time you'll know i adore that i've gone through probably i reckon 15 or 20 of them they're only a few euro and they've made the world of difference to my under eye area and if you're looking for a good solid eye cream but want to stay within a budget i would definitely recommend this one i finished two moisturizers the first is the clinique super defense spf 20 I went up to the Clinique counter in House of Fraser specifically for another moisturiser and the sales associate told me that was wrong for me and sold me this one instead basically. It's very nice, very nice under makeup. Would I repurchase? Not, probably not because while it was good and it has the SPF and all in it, I just feel like you can get the same thing much more affordably. Like I think this was 38 or 39 euro. I prefer to get something comparable in boots for like 12 or 13 euro. Am I crazy? It was nice. If I had the money, I would repurchase, but I don't have 39 euro to spend on a moisturizer every couple of months. This is the Body Shop's Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer for dull, tired, grumpy skin. Oh my God, this is so, so unique. I was sent this by the Body Shop. 
with a couple of other items from the line, but this is by far my favorite. Such a lovely moisturizer. So you take a little bit, and it was like an orangey colored gel, you apply it to your skin, and it's like, it, it was almost like zingy on your skin, but not an irritating kind of way. It did actually kind of wake me up a little bit, and you just, I don't know how to explain it, just put a pep in your skin. First thing in the morning, I didn't use this at night time now, I only used it during the day. The only thing is, there's no SPF in it, that's the only downside to it, but it felt incredible on the skin, it soaked in quickly, it was great on my oily combination skin, and I think I actually might repurchase this one for sure. This is the Garnier Moisture Restore Plus Night Care, it's, it's a night cream, it was really really nice. I did fly through it, but I'm one of those people who like slathers the cream all over her skin in the hopes that it will keep me youthful forever, even though I know that's like bullshit. I actually really like this and I would repurchase this as a night cream. Really liked it. For makeup, I have a kind of a little sample pot of the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Foundation. I hate it. I hate this foundation. It looks crap on my skin. It looks powdery. I buff and I buff. I've tried it loads of different ways. Buffing it into the skin really, really, really well. I find the coverage is crap. It just doesn't agree with my skin at all. And lastly, I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. As you can see, that's completely done. And I have it in the color Light Warm. Everyone and their dog love this concealer. I can't stand it. I think it's very drying under the eye. I didn't find the coverage to be that good. I used it up because obviously it was expensive, but I will not be repurchasing this. Massive disappointment. So that is my huge empties video. I had a lot more there than I thought I had. If you enjoy empties videos, please give this a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.